guys welcome to my channel so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a princess that on a dress and I'm also going to be showing you how to apply an applique to the dress and the bishop sleeve guys so those are the things I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial so sit back and relax and one other thing I want to point out is you should have cut out your dress pattern first you should have cut it out on your fabric then once you start this tutorial you're just gonna you're just gonna cut the princess that because I already cut my dress out on the fabric so let's get right into the tutorial hey guys so I already cut my gown the front this is the front part I already cut the neck and the shoulder the armhole and the side of the dress and I did the same thing for the back the only difference is that I put about one and a half inch for zip allowance because this material doesn't stretch very well if your material is very stretchy you can go ahead and cut the front and back piece equal I also have my applique here which you're gonna press down to the fabric as well and so so you need your tape as well as your chalk and these are my sleeves I'm going to show you how to sew them later on in the video so for you to make a princess that you need to get the width of your dart so mine is four inches because I'm I have um, a hip size of 42 if you are smaller then say you're 38 on the hips and you can make your dart with three inches if you're slimmer so I'm just gonna keep marking that four inches to the top I'm just gonna keep marking the four inches to the top of the the dress so as you see me do I'm marking it all the way up So once you get to the armhole, you're going to pick any part that you feel like you want your your princess dart to start from. So I just traced it to the armhole. Now you can go upwards or you can stay in between the armhole. So anywhere you choose, you can basically just trace it in as much as the line meets the 4 inches or the 3 inches that you have marked. And I'm just going to trace out the lines and then I'm going to cut it so now I'm done cutting it the next thing that you're going to do is to trace it at the back so you're going to take one part which is probably the part that has the armhole you're going to trace it place it on the back part of the the dress and then just place it on it to make sure it's equal and cut it out so it gives you the same thing at the front so once you're done with that you're going to take the parts that you've cut out one other part place it right sides facing each other so you don't place one at the wrong side and it must be the right side facing each other and then I'm going to pin it the way it's going to be sewn So once you're sewing this princess that that most of the times the princess that once you're sewing it it doesn't get to the um, top of the armhole so you might you can stretch the other part so that it gets to the armhole while you're sewing and I would advise that you start from the bottom when you're sewing so that since it doesn't is not always equal you can start from the bottom so that 
when once you're turning the edge or once you're folding the edge it will be equal at the bottom of the dress so i hope you understand <laughs> sorry i'm not really good at explaining so this is what it will look like when you sew it You do the same for the other sides as well as the back now for the sleeve you're just going to cut a normal sleeve and then instead of you know measuring the lower round sleeve you're just going to cut it straight down you're going to cut out your cuff as well I think my cuff is three inches yes and it's doubled so what you're going to do is take the cuff fold it to the right side and place the right side of the material place the right side of the sleeve sorry and then pin it down and you're going to pleat it as well so that it gives the full effect so as you can see I'm putting the sides together first before I pleat it so I can distribute the pleat evenly and make sure that it's equal So this is what it will look like when you sew it you're first of all going to sew the down part yeah you're going to sew that part first and then once you're done you're going to sew the sides about one inches depending on the allowance you've left before now to apply the applique you're going to choose the sides that you want to apply I already went ahead and sewed everything like I said it's an easy dress so there's nothing difficult to sew place the applique on the part that you want and then you would have preheated your iron so you just press it so the iron was too hot I had to use the fabric to you know stay in between the dress and the iron so once you keep ironing it it will gum instantly if your iron is hot Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video. Do like and subscribe.